Salam alaikum miners, technicals here. We got a whole mess of new coins coming out this week because the market's going gangbusters, which means everybody and their mother's trying to cash in and launch a new project. If you're new to the channel or unsubscribed, I try to do these videos as fast as I can right when these coin, coins launch so you can get on them, mine them, mine up a whole bunch of them and hopefully sell them if they go anywhere. So all aboard the Shitcoin Express, let's see what gems we can find. I'm the technicals, let's get into it. All right, so all this garbage coming courtesy of Bitcoin Talk. If you're unfamiliar, Bitcoin Talk has been is a forum that's been around since a long time and new coins like to launch here because Bitcoin talk has some credibility within the community. So that's where I'm taking most of this from a couple I'm taking from our plant, which posted announcements. I didn't get to these coins until uh, later in the week, but uh, moving through, I've got tabs open, open for a lot of these. Again, the market's going gangbusters right now. I remember this being a thing back in 17, 18 with ICOs, you know, everyone trying to launch new coins. Um, so I'm taking these, we're going to go through them very briefly. Uh, I only target mineable coins, non-ASIC mineable coins. So if it's a script coin, an X11 coin, something like that, I'm not going to highlight it. I'm looking for CPU, GPU, maybe FPJ, CPU and GPU. That's what I'm looking for. I'll just give a brief sort of overview for non-CPU, uh, non GPU mineable coins. Worldland coin announced today on ETH uh, at hash. Uh, so not going to really look into that one. But if you've got an at hash miner, then maybe it's uh, some... Uh, you know, potential for you. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Next one, Suga coin, Suga coin, Suga Suga. Uh, this one is a CPU mineable coin on Yes Power with this variant Suga. So Yes Power is the algorithm and the fork of it is Suga. I'm going to say Suga. I don't know if it's sugar or Suga, uh, but reading through the thread a little bit, it seems like people were talking about how this is a, uh, someone just copied Sugar Chain. I don't know what the hell Sugar Chain is. They're all garbage, but you know, it's a, uh, what the coin does, if, are you guys really interested in what the coin does? I'm gonna run over here to our plant and see, uh, because they're hosting Sugar, Ch Sugar Chain. Uh, looks like we've got about 300 miners currently on Sugar Chain. Uh, taking a look, this is only the past 24 hours, so uh, it's not gonna give me like a lot of good historical data, uh, but this was only launched yesterday, so this is kind of from the start. Looks like we had a, a bit of a, some action here in the beginning, and it's kind of not really taken off too much, so maybe there's some time and potential for you to jump on this. I am not jumping on this, um, yeah, really, because I, I've got too many other things going on. My GPUs are currently down. Oh, look, a million blocks just hit. Now, I will say, in Suga's benefit, it says no pre-mine, no ICO, no pre-sale, no founder's reward. So that's kind of uncommon. A lot of these projects launch with, uh, they're trying to find a way to hoard some coins for themselves with either a pre-mine or a uh, founder's reward, or they're keeping a bunch of coins for marketing or something like that. They'll, they'll phrase it in different ways, but this claims to have nothing. Uh, so that's cool. Also on a CPU. So, you know, you, you know, these giant GPU farms, these giant ASIC farms can't really target this and just, you know, s suck up all the hash right away. Uh, but a clever individual has found here on Bitcoin Talk that, uh, this coin actually launched about a week ago and they just didn't do the announcement until today. So that's how they're doing it. Uh, they're saying a pre-mine of 48,000 blocks. Um, is it technically a pre-mine though? Because, you know, they, they launched the coin and then they just started mining it. So, you know, does that count as a pre-mine? Yeah, you know, sort of not really, but really it is. They're just trying to mine up a whole bunch of the coins in the beginning so they can then advertise it as no pre-mine. Again, allegedly, that's just my opinion. That's just me sort of speculating on what they're doing here. Otherwise, it seems like there's no really uh, real shenanigans going on here. So Sugarcoin, link in the description below if you wanna check it out, it's on our plant. Next one, Unify Room, another CPU coin on Yescript R32. Never even heard of it. No, no idea what that algorithm is. It says it's CPU though, every block using dark gravity wave. The split, not great. 50, 45% to miners, 45% to Masternode, 10% to the developer. So he's just sitting back and collecting. Masternode collateral, 20,000. So, um, you know, Masternodes, I, I think it's probably pretty well known uh, amongst everybody. Masternodes aren't, aren't really what they say that they are. They're not there to just kind of be a, the rock of the network. They're there to lock up coins to make the price go up. Uh, but that could be a good thing if you're mining it and a lot of people are holding it or chasing a master node or buying coins to launch a master node, then maybe the price is going to go up and then you can cash out. There's a pool hosting it. Poolmz.online is currently hosting this. I'm not sure if our plant has jumped on it yet. Check over on our plant. Uh, yes, they have. So Umphicoin is on our plant. If we're taking a look here, looks like, uh, so we did launch, there has been an increase in the hash rate. I'm assuming our plant's gonna suck up most of the hash rate on this. 241 miners on it currently, so 
If you've got a CPU mining rig, uh, if you're into CPU mining, you may want to check out Unify Coin. Unify Room. Unify Room. Link in the description below. Next up, ASIC Coin on script, uh, Lammer Coin. So, you know, if you've got a script miner and you want to roll the dice on that, you want to pull off a Doge because Doge is boring, maybe try one of these, you know, BS script coins to just kind of suck up a bunch of hash and get a bunch of coins and then maybe it'll go somewhere. That's completely up to you. Next up, we got Hoosat, which claims to be ASIC resistant, uh, Caspa Fork. Uh, using heavy hash and Blake three. So, you know, is that just like uh, different ingredients that make up K heavy hash? I'm not sure. It's kind of like a, kind of like a Mexican restaurant. You know, they really only have like four ingredients at a Mexican restaurant. They just add them in different ways and it's, you know, they call it something different, but uh, people saying, you know, oh look, another Casper fork, another Carlson fork. And they're saying, oh no, we're not a Carl Carlson fork. We are a Casper, <laughs> Casper fork. You know, what the coin does, uh, it doesn't matter. It really, it really does not matter what the coin does. It just matters if people believe it's going to do something or if it has good marketing. So a bunch of normies buy up the coin. So the price goes up so we can sell. If you want to check it out, uh, let's see if anyone is hosting it currently. All right, so if you wanted to mine Hoosat, it is currently on mining for people. It's under the uh, Pyron hash uh, algorithm. That's how they have it listed. So I, mean, I was completely unaware if that's, uh, if Pyron hash is indeed just a a uh, combination of heavy hash and Blake three. Is that what Pyron hash is? I'm not sure. So uh, you may want to run over to mining for people if you're interested in getting on Hoosat. Next coin, this one is on our plant as well. This is artificial intelligence transaction token, AITT. It uh, looks like it is on Kapow. So that is going to be definitely GPU mineable, uh, popular coin for a lot of GPU miners right now. Still cold in a lot of, part of the, parts of the world. So you know, if you're interested in heating up your house still and want to try a brand new coin, maybe go ahead and give it a shot. Minor reward, 53% of total supply. So um, I don't think it has a split. Uh, I think they're just mining up to a certain point, mining uh, period three years. So uh, it's only going to be mineable for three years, and then it's probably going to move to stake or some other kind of model. So, um, you know, uh, you, 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 coins like this launch as well, and it kind of creates this horizon uh, where people say like, oh, mining's gonna stop, better mine it, better hold it. Um, again, just game theory kind of stuff. Uh, look at community coins, 25% to fund future GPU purchases for community reasoning services. Um, so I don't know if they're, they're, they're saying that they're hanging on to coins to pay people in the future for hashing or some kind of service. I'm not sure. Early founders, one billion. So. The total supply is uh, 10 billion and early founders, they're taking 10% of the total supply right off the rip. So red flag, I don't know. Is it a red flag to you? That's for you to decide. It's like they're doing an early airdrop of 200 million of these things. So I'm not sure how the airdrop is going to work. They have an official mining pool. Uh, so you may want to check that pool versus our plant to see who's taking up most of the hash. The official mining pool for AITT is pulling uh, just under 56 giga hash and Let's see, AITT on our plant is 91 giga hash. So our plant taking most of the, uh, the hash rate already, but uh, so about two thirds of it, assuming there are no other pools uh, on it right now. So our plant's probably gonna be your best bet you know, versus using their mining pool. Our plant's at least sturdier and they're gonna be paying attention to what's going on on the network and they're quicker to delist it in case there is some tomfoolery going on but yeah it says it says here proof of voluntary work this is a uh, their new some marketing phrase to tell you know make people think that there this coin is about something uh, miners will receive a small amount of token rewards it encourages people to participate in the construction and maintenance of the aitt ecosystem after three years aitt plans to transition to a povw system encouraging community driven volunteer mining efforts volunteer mining efforts. who's going to volunteer the approach highlights the community's altruism 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 in cryptocurrency. Okay, that's a red flag for me. That's not a, that that word doesn't exist here. Okay. Anyway, if you want to give AITT a shot, it's on our plant. Link in the description below. Finally, this one didn't have a thread on Bitcoin Talk. I found out that, about this one through our plant, uh, Cubics Blockchain. I did find their website here. It at least appears to be their website. Uh, Cubics Blockchain. No announcement again on Bitcoin Talk, but it's a play to earn ecosystem. So a gaming coin. 181 miners over here on our plant. I'm again I'm just assuming that they're taking up the majority of the network hash rate. Uh, they they usually do right in the beginning. Another CPU coin. It's on Ghost Rider. So 
Uh, if you want to check that out, you got CPU rigs, you want to kind of jump on this real quick, maybe get a whole bunch of these coins, sit on them, see my video in the description below on how to set up a uh, sort of a phantom wallet. Uh, you create a wallet in a virtual uh, sandbox session, and so you mine to that in case this doesn't work out, in case there's malware in the wallet or something like that. You can just kind of keep the keys and then mine the coins. And then if the coin does go somewhere, you restore the wallet later and then you can sell the coins. So link to that in the description below. Check that video out. Cubix on our plant. Link in the description below. Go check it out. All right, so that's the squeeze. Again, if you're new to the channel or unsubscribed, I try to do this uh, as quickly as I possibly can when new coins come out because we all know the power of mining brand new coins right when they go live. Difficulty's low. Your hash power is a larger percentage of the overall hash power. So that's gonna be more block reward for you, more coins for you, ultimately, hopefully, more money for you. If I missed out on a coin, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, press like, subscribe, do all those kind of things. Watch the video all the way through. Tell me how handsome I am. I'll take anything I can get. Thanks for stopping by. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.